Anyone else? Yes, sir. What we're looking at here, my name is Lee Rogers, uh, commercial work specialist. I spent 10 years on the live wheel take production team, then uh, on the original National Marine Fishery Service Year Advisory Group, as the time as the president of the Downey Smokesman's Association, uh, numerous uh, other committees that I've served on. Been very active, uh, been disgusted 99.9% of the time. Seems like in the lobster fishery in particular, what, what comes to mind is a, an article that I read uh, last night in the Bangladesh yeah, newspaper about the, the lobster catch being up and how we made more money. Uh, I never see in those figures in the end the increases in the cost of doing business in actual dollars and cents where I do see in other uh, issues that come up where, where the price of a commodity is these, these issues are factored into it. Last year I, I felt as though reasonably we were getting about 1990 prices for our lobster trying to live in 2009. Uh, I will go so far to say so far this year, probably our catch would be considered up. We've got a long way to go before this year closes. Uh, I don't believe that our dollar and cent figure is going to be up. I actually think that in real dollars, we're probably back in the later 1980s. What we're looking at in our future through the Lobster Advisory Council is a 25% increase in our trap tags. When the trap tags originated, it was to support the trap limit of 800 and the enforcement of it. Uh, we're looking at a 25% increase per tag uh, in what I consider to be uh, still a tremendous recession. I'm not seeing a whole lot of employment going on. Uh, I, I'm not seeing what I'm hearing in the paper about, hey, the recession is over, everything is, is great, uh, business is usual. Not feeling down at the grassroots level. Uh, our school system has been deemed one of the worst in the state. Uh, seems to be a political game with Augusta and Augusta, some grant. It's almost like a, somebody waving a carrot on a string in front of a horse, uh, an offering. And now I see where our particular school system has been rejected for that. Um, which I'm, I'm not even sure that we actually need to be able to control the school. That would be a place of staff. But, but anyway, with, with the views of the current administration and their people beneath them that have been appointed, such as the commission, 25% uh, increase on the user fee, which many of us considered the track tag fee to be. Uh, it was another tax imposed on, on an industry. Um, we're looking at within this 25 cent, uh, 25 percent increase, we're looking at the opportunity to get one additional one for approximately $300,000. Uh, just seems like it's business as usual. It seems like there's absolutely no vision in Augusta and there are problems. Um, that's the realities that we the people are uh, feeling out here in the community. I agree with you 100%. Let, let me finish just to point out the threat that's used against this industry, the low sufficient industry, and I've seen many other fisheries taken out, and some of those people are sitting here today. 
that used to be in other fisheries and they've been driven out and into the lobster fishery. It's only applied to one lab. Is the Department of Commerce federal uh, will step in and put the kibosh, for lack of better words, on the lobster fishery through not allowing the uh, transportation of, of our product across uh, state law? How would you go about protecting what is realistically one of the last fisheries that we have left? Well, I will tell you something about the reason I'm running for governor is not only for for the fisheries, but for forestry, for agriculture, and for the marine uh, industries, and quite frankly, for the tourism industry, because right now tourism is the number one industry in the state. And, and I offended a lot of people when I said one day, I wish they were number four again. Because when they were number four, they were just as powerful as they are now. They were healthy, but we had a very strong fishing industry, and we had a very strong paper industry, and we had a very strong agricultural industry. And those were all gone. So now, the state, the people in Augusta, got their eyes zoned in on the tourist industry, and thanks to the good people of the state of Maine, they repealed 1495 in June, and that was an attack on the tourist industry. What I believe that we need in Augusta is some private people with private sector experience leading the agencies who understand how difficult it is to sign the front of a check, not only the back. That's number one from the governor's point of view. From the federal point of view, I will be working with the delegation very strong, but I'm also a very, very strong believer in the Constitution. And I will be pushing the Constitution every step of the way. And matter of fact, that's why I considered it. I was way back last September, they're saying, who is Paul Page? In February, they're saying, there's a guy, Paul Page, up there. And then in May, they're saying, you know, there might be a dark horse up there. And today, they're calling me secretary. The reason for that is simply that we came from behind. We came from behind because we have a message. We have a message that says, one, we've had enough of the federal government. We've had enough, too. We've had enough of the state government. And number three, government should be working for the people, not the people working for the government. And as your governor, you're going to be seeing a lot of me on the front page saying, Governor LePage tells Obama to go to hell. 